Hey Pisces, this is going to be your reading from October 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It'd be super, super helpful to get some traction to my page. Uh, also, feel free to share with your friends or a crosswatch. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon or rising sign. Or just check out another tarot reader. Maybe I'm not connecting to your energy. Just a reminder, these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm just pulling a card for you here. It's taking this time. All right. So I'm going to start off with the um, Angel Oracle Guide again and then move into the traditional tarot. So you got Guardian Angel, which another sign also got to this week. So maybe if you are cross-watching, you can tell me who it was. Guardian Angel. Everyone has a Guardian Angel who has been with them since their soul's creation. Now your Guardian Angel is drawing closer to you now, uh, closer to you than ever. This angel guide knows you, loves you, and accepts you completely. Before your incarnation on Earth, you danced across the stars together. If you're feeling overwhelmed or alone at this time, know that your angel guide is with you to share their love and make you feel safe. You never walk this path alone. Angels are always there to light the way. This card is a huge reminder that you always have to have their help, support, and companionship available to you. You're an independent soul and often find yourself trying to do everything on your own. But know that even just a quick prayer to your guardian angel can take away some of that pressure. Your angel wants to hear, uh, to hear more from you. In order to support you fully, they must be invited to do so. But then no request is too much. Your angel guide has been made for you and is dedicated to you, so take time today for easy and formal conversation with them. Speak openly in a heartfelt way about your life and any challenges that you are facing, anything that you need help with. Through that conversation, your help will find its way to you. When you draw this card, they want you to know that they are with you. Lovely. I love that. All right, Pisces, just give me a second to pull some traditional tarot here, and then we'll keep going. feel this energy for Pisces please I don't know what the hand gestures are with today but I keep seeing hand gestures <laughs> I don't know why they're kind of communicating me through hand gestures but I'm seeing up um, like when you're kind of like to the sky kind of hands up to the sky prayer um, kind of like on this higher front actually um, kind of card here I don't know if you if you kind of work with light or or you kind of visualize kind of white light or or, or a waterfall of light, but maybe they're telling you to do that as well. Just to um, imagine yourself kind of under this like energetic waterfall, because I just kind of see this energy kind of um, draining from the top of the head all the way down to the feet and kind of washing out there, and it's feeling kind of like like an um, an, an energetic waterfall to be honest. I feel like it's just to kind of cleanse. It's kind of to um, you know wash away everything that's not kind of needed anymore maybe you're at a place in the world where you can do that with a waterfall or with water maybe you're just doing it in the shower but there's just this thing of um needing to feel that kind of cleanse this week again whether it's with light whether it's with water just feeling that head to toe kind of drainage um, of energy and kind of um, clearing things out here we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. And Seven of Cups in the reverse means after a time of confusion, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, it seems like we're kind of having this aha moment. Um, and it doesn't feel like kind of with this kind of guardian angel energy that this aha moment is like an easy aha moment. Um, but I feel like you can you clearly kind of understand or see what kind of needs to be done here. Um, you're kind of having that moment of mental clarity and being like, yeah, this is something that I kind of need to do um, right now. We also have the Four of Pentacles here, which is this energy of kind of letting go. Um, and I think that's why this kind of um, energy of this kind of energetic waterfall is kind of, um, is kind of kind of releasing itself here because something is trying to kind of work your way out of its body. I don't know what it is. Again, it feels like maybe it's fear. Maybe it's stuck on kind of old power um, patterns here, but it feels like letting go. They just want you to let go right now. It almost feels like surrender as well um, here. Surrender to whatever is kind of happening right now, whatever is going on. 
and connect to and connect spiritually. We have the Knight of Wands here, and the Knight of Wands represents kind of a passionate, new beginning, fiery, um, creative kind of energy here as well. Maybe this person is coming into your life. Um, this could also be representative of you just kind of bringing more passion forward. But again, I'm getting this kind of, it keeps kind of going back to this kind of shedding of old skin kind of um, energy here. Yeah, need to shed shed that old skin okay they're just really hammering that down on me right now so i'm like okay i will communicate it <laughs> uh we also have the higher font here and the higher font is um is kind of like higher mentorship it's taurus energy um this could be spirituality could be religion could be um, therapy could be whatever it is here but i really feel like it's spiritual you know and this is why i was kind of seeing the the hands in the sky here which is kind of like the hands on the judgment card which is not out yet but um shows that that right it's that kind of like devotion being like you know i'm putting this kind of in your hands here um connecting to it that way connecting to your angels and i think that's why kind of guardian angel kind of came out here for you is because you're like okay i'm gonna let go i'm going to release i'm going to shed this old skin and i'm going to let you kind of take some of the rain here and show me what i need to do oh interesting i literally had the devil card come out upright and then i grabbed it and it literally just spinned it was like nope and spinned completely to reversed so good. Maybe you are like, now it's time to really let these old patterns go. You know, maybe you are kind of feeling that. Maybe there was fear here, but that shedding is going to kind of break some of these chains. As you see with the devil card, you see two people chained together, chained down here by their necks. They can't go anywhere. They don't have freedom. You know, they're tied down. And this is kind of the energy that I was feeling from you, Pisces, this kind of like tied down energy or these old kind of negative thought patterns here that we are kind of cleansing of ourselves, that we are kind of shedding um, here. To kind of remove some of that because this is going to be a new start this is going to be a new you a fresh you i don't know why i'm feeling this but um feeling of like immobile right now um i don't know maybe you are feeling like you can't really go anywhere maybe you're feeling like uh maybe some trips have been canceled uh, maybe you have kind of um kind of in a secluded kind of area here as well i don't know i'm just getting immobility um in a way maybe you're injured i don't know what it is here but i'm just kind of feeling that with this kind of six of swords in the reverse it means not moving on or moving past but i'm getting um they were telling the word immobile um here so maybe again you're in a spot right now where you're not really moving anywhere or you can't travel um for some kind of specific reason or, or again can't get places um here but maybe this is where you are kind of releasing this stuff releasing this devil energy maybe not moving away from it either um here really focusing on that working on that we do have the page of wands here coming up but it's followed by the chariot card in reverse and these are kind of two contradicting cards funny enough um chariot card and the six of swords are pretty close they're kind of saying hey we're feeling stuck we're feeling like things aren't really moving right now but the page of wands is telling you that it's time to kind of have a, a new outlook on things you know have a, a new take of like adventure and wonder you know what is next here for me what what can i kind of focus on what do i actually want to do you know what am i good at What makes me feel passionate? What makes me feel excited? And I think these are questions that you're gonna be asking yourself, especially when you're done kind of this shedding process that you are kind of in right now. You're gonna move into a space where you're gonna feel um, more motivated. You're gonna move into a space where you feel more creative, um, where you feel kind of more excitement about life as well. So take the stuck energy, whatever it is kind of feeling right now as a moment to kind of really ask yourself these questions. Ask ourselves what it is that kind of makes us feel alive. What is it that we really want to kind of do in our life here? And I think things will start to move quicker for you here after we kind of have those questions because we have the eight of wands coming out, which is kind of like fast communication. Sometimes these are messages here as well. Maybe for some of you, these are spiritual messages that you're getting, but I feel like once you kind of open yourself up a little bit more um, to asking yourself those questions, you're gonna see things will move faster for you because you're kind of more aligned on your path. 
yeah, star card. You're just kind of putting up new hopes, new wishes into the universe. You know, you're like, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want, really want to go after? You know, what am I letting go of this old cycle here? What am I cleansing from myself um, to open myself up more fully to kind of the new, to open myself more fully to the kind of adventure of life here? A lot of wands energy for you, which is nice because it's just saying, again, we're hyper fixating on our passions. We're hy hyper fixating on that energy that kind of makes us feel alive here. It's interesting because we have the Queen of Wands coming out here sideways. And then when the Queen of Wands comes out sideways, um, in my readings, it means it can go either way, right? So the Queen of, so uh, the Queen of Wands upright is someone who is passionate, who is someone who is um, driven, um, who's excited about life, who has many talents, who um, is resourceful. They know just like, they know that they'll be okay because they are the queen of wands. They're like, well, I can do A, B, C, and D. I'm gonna be kind of fine here. When the queen of wands is opposite, it's feeling again, not passionate about life, maybe quick to anger, getting frustrated by everything, um, feeling like everything's gonna go wrong. Um, someone who's maybe not really um, attached to kind of what makes them happy here and so it's saying you can go either way you can look at it as one thing you can look at it um what you're going through right now as kind of a rebrand um a fresh start you know shedding the old going into the new or you can just kind of stay in this kind of bitter energy if you choose to do so you know and it's saying that's where the choice is involved here because if you say you're in the kind of queen of wands energy here if you're like you know what i'll figure it out yeah and you know there's a lot of things that i can do well i'm not stuck New options are on the way for me. And I think if you start kind of saying those things to yourself here, Pisces, start saying, being like, yeah, I mean, I can do this. I can do A, B, C. It's not stuck here. I, I, you no, know, I'm going to be okay. And this is what this energy that I'm feeling like is like, it's all going to be okay. We have the Emperor reversed here, which is Aries energy. And this is what we're talking about. This is kind of like over controlling energy here. Um, maybe you are dealing with an Aries as well. Maybe you are having um, troubles with an Aries right now. Maybe you're having sleepless nights over an Aries. But I feel like um, for some of you, this is more about you and um, wanting to have to control everything. Just being like, well, I don't have that figured out yet. Or, you know, being like, well, this didn't go my way. Um, I needed I needed it to go that way because that's what I wanted and, and, and had to do it. And you're kind of hyper fixated on that, hyper fixated on the control when really Pisces are telling you, you need to let go big time. Um, time to kind of, again, cleanse yourself of this, let go here because you're causing yourself to stress out a lot because you kind of want to have everything figured out without just kind of being connected to that faith that, hey, you know, I'm going to be okay here. Um, I'm resourceful. Things will work out for me. We have the Empress card in reverse, and we also have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse is actually a good card. It means that there's maybe a new home situation, maybe a new job offer on the way for you here. Um, so if you're in the space of the Five of Pentacles, in the space of feeling like, you know, you've been left out of the cold by something, or, you know, having a lot of, like, financial losses recently, I believe it's saying there is, like, a new solution on the way here. But the Empress in the reverse is saying that we're not in the energy of abundance. We're not in the energy of... Um, um, vibrating high here, right? Um, Empress can also represent kind of fertility issues um, or mother issues in some sense. Because the Emperor and the Empress are in the reverse, this kind of pairing here just feels like kind of connected to that kind of negative energy. Really start feeling like abundant, like, you know, like really start believing that you are abundant, believing that new opportunities are coming towards you here, you know, believing that the universe kind of has your back because it's almost like that kind of acceptance is what I'm feeling right now that we kind of need to usher into our life. And it'll kind of relieve some of this pressure, this kind of stress that we are having right now. for Pisces. Judgment, there it is. Any judgment would kind of come up because this is what the picture I saw with these people putting their hands to the sky, right? It's judgment time for you, honestly. It's like, how are we going to view our life? How are we going to see things? 
in this universe? You know, how are we going to match the energy of the things that we kind of truly want in this life? Because if you don't believe that you're not going to get it, if you don't believe that there's solutions out there for you, if you don't believe that you will kind of get what you want in this life, if you don't believe that you're talented, if you don't believe that you deserve things, they're not going to come to you. It's just not going to happen because you're not putting that energy out there. You're not kind of um, Pisces matching the energy that the universe wants to match with. This whole world is just energy, right? Everything is energy. So be in that, you know? Start working on that. Working on how we talk to ourselves. Um, work on how we see the world. Work on um, maybe what negative kind of things that we are, are putting out there. Um, and see how much, how much that actually affects you. I'm just going to grab a card and fill them. I think you're going to start to choose to go the other way. You're going to be like, hey, you know, it's time that I actually make a decision here and that um, I'm going to move to the space where more that I deserve things. Yeah, this fool card. Open to the new. Open to the exciting. This freeing energy here. This releasing, this letting go, this energy of feeling free. This energy of this new beginning, opening yourself up to something new. Something wants to be birthed here for sure. We have the Ten of uh, Wands here reversed. Overworked energy, pain here. We got the Three of Swords. We got the Eight of Cups, which is kind of like um, emotional uncontentment. In, in, is that uncontentment? Anyways. Um, in, content, in contentment. Um, and then we also have the magician here. Seems like there was a time where you're just hyper fixed on your pain or hyper fixed on the loss here, hyper fixed on not feeling um, emotionally stable or emotionally happy. But now we're kind of moving in the opposite. We're moving into this um, energy of kind of manifestation here with the magician. That's no more. That's done. That's what I'm releasing. That's what I'm letting go of. That's what I'm shedding. Yeah. Pisces, you're going to be okay. Even if it doesn't feel like it right now, the cards are definitely, in the energy that I'm feeling right now is that you're going to be okay. The Golden Children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. The golden children, children of the sun, are highly advanced, extremely intelligent souls who are incarnating, incarnating increasingly on the planet Earth. They have little or no personal karma and possess incredible gifts and intuitive abilities. Golden children are born with a very clear mission, and many remember it from a young age. Be, uh, begin answering it and sharing it early in life. Due to their unique intelligence, they may find themselves easily bored at school. Most have never incarnated on Earth before, and so, if they're not supported in the right ways, they struggle with a physical life here. They're often referred to as new humans. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You also may be called to tend to your own inner child, a creative project, or a new beginning. Right? Tend to a new beginning. To treat yourself in the new beginning with sweet, tender love, and to nourish, to nurture and nourish it. To give it every chance to grow and reach adulthood. To encourage it. To water it. To see it through the world through the innocence of a child. The fool card. Uh, to see yourself and all others as innocent children. To remember that deep down, everyone is trying their best. And if they're treated with a tender heart, they will not harden as, this, uh, harden as they journey through this great adventure called life. How can you treat yourself and others more tenderly? We also got blossoming abundance here. And this is why I said, you're going to be okay, Pisces. Increasing wealth and value. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins, new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the trees above. Upright, this card can single a new increase in wealth and, possibility, and possibly in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works on the ground and begins to see the blossoming results take hold. The card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping you with fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. All right, Pisces. That was your first month reading. I hope that helped.